2019-20 National Treasures Basketball. The pre-pandemic original release date was April 15th, 2020. The scheduled release date, according to Cardboard Connection, is May 13th, 2020, which is a Wednesday. David Adams does not list a release date on its pre-sale website. So let's get into the box, shall we? The configuration is 10 cards per pack, one pack per box, four, ca- four boxes per case. The box break average is eight autographs or memorabilia cards, one base or parallel, and one printing plate per box. First off the line box break average is one RPA, stars and stripes, blue. No word yet uh, that I could find on what those numbers will be out of. Uh, seven auto or memorabilia cards, one base or parallel, and one printing plate in the first off the line box. Key rookies include Zion, Jaw, RJ Barrett. Did I say that wrong? No. Oh, <laughs> he looked at me like, <laughs> okay. Uh, RJ Barrett, Cam Reddish, uh, Rui, Hachimura, 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 Hachimura mm, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you got it right. DeAndre Hunter, Darius Garland, Jarrett Culver, and PJ Washington. Suggested retail price per panini, which doesn't mean anything, is seven hundred dollars per box. <laughs> hmm. Sounds familiar, but <laughs> there must be. A I'm catch. buying all of them at seven hundred. The yeah. pre-sale prices for a case on Dave and Adams is Brian. Do you have a guess? Hmm. Maybe let's go four thousand. <laughs> for, wait for a case. For a case. Sorry, I was doing per box. So it'd be that'd be sixteen thousand if I'm doing the math. But yes, well, uh, the presale price is fifteen thousand. So you were very close. Wow. On David Adams, there are currently three cases on eBay. One sits at twenty k with thirty one watchers. Sixteen k at thirty two watchers, and the last is at fifteen k twenty two watchers. Half a case on eBay. There are two listed. One at 11K and the other at 8K for two boxes of a case. Uh, and then a box, there's one listed on eBay, no pre sale, one box on Dave and Adams is 5,000 OBO for a singular box of this year's break. This uh, product this is going to hit hard because yeah. there's been a drought of product with the exception of Mosaic, which is sort of like filtering its way through the North American content right, continent right now. Other than that, this National Treasures is going to be carrying a huge wave of basketball card ripping, itch needing to be scratched, and... We're not ripping any of it at those no. prices. Oh, no. my goodness. That's, ins- and that's unbelievable I mean, prices. But the, it's based on the 2018-19 box values. Right. That's right. how this market has been established from the very start. Yep. If they look at the 2018-19 products and people pretty much say, well, you know, that class has Luca and Trey. This class has Zion and Ja. It should be the same value. And that's been said. So that doesn't leave but, a lot of room for growth. But, you know, we say that and then next year these will be selling on the secondhand market for $30,000. Those weren't right. the prices, though, last year at No, they're the prices now. Yeah, but that's the price now. Yeah. Which is why it doesn't really make sense to me because, first off, we've only seen Zion for like two months play. And then we've only seen Ja for like three quarters of a season. Like... Therefore, it should be three quarters and two months worth of Luca and Trey prices of last year. It should not be what Luca and Trey, after a season and a half or a season and three quarters, are worth. Well, people are buying like people are buying Luca and know. Trey on potential for I know. sure. I mean, I know just, they are. but they're it's definitely the comp, buying right? Zion. It's like but, this is the comp that we have, yeah. and yep. that's what the market just gets yeah. established at. I agree, it's though. Crazy. It is. We, it is strange, and it's. It's also strange considering, you know, we were able to buy a lot of this product last year for the price that Panini just, you know, put out for it. And then you could get it off the secondhand market from eBay and stuff like that. Right. But. I mean, I got an entire case of 1819 National Treasures for less than what one box is currently selling at or pre selling <laughs> at. Yeah. Like, think about that. Like, I, I got a case. Yeah. Like, that's crazy to me. But, I got a case. But- and a first off the line box for less than 
one box of 1920 national treasures. Yeah. What if so? For so, let's let's say you held that box for like a month and then you sold it. What would the price be then? What would your like flip be if you would have done that? Do you know? For the the 1920 or the for 18, the 19? no for the 18 18, 18, 18 19, 19, 19 19 didn't pick up steam like that. No, until, not until later. Until November, really, when Luca averaged a triple double, 32 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists for the entire month of November, and he won Western Conference Player of the Month. By the time November was over, all these prizes had just were well on their way to the moon. And then in the first week of December, the Mavericks beat the Lakers at the Staples Center yep. by double digits. Yep. And at that point in time, Luca it was over. Mania, yeah, aka yeah. Luforia. Yeah. Great episode, by the way, for new listeners of the House of Jordan's podcast. Yeah. You're not going to be able to find it on YouTube, but go to our Apple podcast. Listen to episode 13, Luforia. It's our most popular episode. We talk about Luca. We talk about the, that entire moment in time that was happening yep. in November of 2019. We break it down. While so, ha- like live. Yeah, and now, you know, Luca prices are going back up again, too, in yeah. a lot of different segments of his particular card market. We're not yep. going to go into depth on that now, but... No, but needless to say, if you are interested in 2019-20 National Treasures basketball, uh, good luck and God bless. You're on your own. Well, you know... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not touching that thing. Well, ultimately, box values are, to some extent, derived from the value of the contents inside, and... I've held the belief now for a long time that based on the logic of comps in our market, as you were rightly pointing out, Brian, Zion's RPA is going to sell what Lucas sells for. Yeah. In fact, those first few raw ones might even go higher than what Luca Raws go for because people are going to be banking on nine fives and PSA tens. Um, So that's always been the comp. And I remember when we did our episode with Josh from Cardboard Chronicles, we were talking, what's the first Zion RPA going to sell for? Is it going to, you know, is it going to break $50,000 or not? And, it was unfathomable at the time, but now we're looking at the value of these boxes and the that the value of these preset value boxes. It better break fifty thousand yeah, yeah. for fifteen yeah. grand a case. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. And that's just a David Adams without a release date. Thank you. Like, for imagine when it actually starts. The National Treasures Going. update You're in welcome. Christina's corner. We still right. have a little bit more content to get off. through here okay. on episode twenty-seven. <laughs> I'm gonna remember this of the House of the Jordans. 